everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a realistic landscape diagram with axonometric cutouts in Photoshop without a 3D model. We'll choose four different scenes from the axonometric diagram packages to use as templates. These contents are selected because they can inspire your designs and serve as simple templates for visualization. We'll start with the fourth scene. After placing the diagram, we'll select pieces that can be added together. We only require land drawings in the diagrams, so we'll remove plants and people. We'll add the first scene to the artboard we opened in Photoshop, simply by copy and paste. You can add the parts you copied as smart objects. Place the water drawing. After rasterizing the drawing, we'll color it with a paint bucket. And change the color of the section part. We'll fill the remaining parts using textures. We'll use Cutout Axonometric Urban Park Creator Bundle for this tutorial. First, we'll import the Photoshop patterns from the pack. To use the patterns, first select the area to be filled. Double click the pattern fill layer to adjust the pattern size from the panel that opens. Since we'll use a different texture in axonometric view, open a new layer and fill it with this texture. Rasterize the image to be able to change the pattern's angle. To adjust the angle easily, we'll use the free transform panel. This can be activated from the edit menu. You can enter values like 30 or minus 30. Resize and position it to cover all the areas you want to fill. Then, close the layer and select the areas to fill. Right-click and choose Layer via Copy. Adjust the angle of the patterns for the side faces and position them.
select the necessary parts, and once again, use Layer via Copy. We'll add some depth by reducing the brightness of these parts. Go to Image Menu, Adjustments, and select Brightness. To fix the texture repetition, add a new layer of pattern fill and blend it using the Eraser tool. Now, we'll go on and select an axonometric grass from the bundle's vegetation content and place it. We'll use the eraser tool to remove its boundaries. Duplicate the grass and continue placing as needed. Then, select and sprinkle flowering plants throughout. Once we've placed all, we'll add a tree. After placing the tree, we'll use the eraser to remove its borders. Finally, you can adjust the color tone to your liking. Now, let's unhide the previously hidden water layer. Rasterize it. Use an eraser with reduced hardness to erase the border and then color it. Import the water pattern from the pattern panel. Select water and add the pattern. Right click on the pattern layer and rasterize it. Then adjust its color tone. First, Place the drawings from the vector content of the bundle into the scene. Then, copy and paste a lighting element from the content. 
resize it, position it, and duplicate if necessary. Finally, add people drawings one by one. We want to add icons to the plants in the scene to indicate their types. We'll start by selecting the plant drawing from the vector content and changing its color. Next, we'll draw a circle and a line, but leave the text field empty. Then, import this into Photoshop and position it accordingly. Finally, add the text. Add more icons to complete the diagram. You can create additional diagrams using the methods we've outlined in this tutorial. That's it! We've reached the end of the tutorial. You can get all the content from the link in the description box below and use in your visualizations. See you in the next tutorial.